The government now says there is room for making changes to the proposed national housing levy as contained in the finance bill before the second reading on Thursday. PS for Housing and Urban Development, Charles Hinger, challenged Parliament's Finance Committee to use its powers to make the necessary changes on the bill with the input garnered through two weeks of public participation. The PS at the same time maintained that the levy will be beneficial to employee contributors as the fund will not be subjected to tax on maturity. Brenda Wanga reports now on the seemingly softening stance of the government. <laughs> For the second time, the man under whose office the bulk of the housing project will be implemented appeared before lawmakers to explain the proposed workings of the National Housing Development Fund. The PS was hard-pressed to explain exactly what the 3% contributions are. This is a tax because we are forcing even the poorest in this country to make contribution to support people who are staying in these big towns. If you look at the principle of paying taxes, there is not necessarily a direct relationship between what you pay and what you get. Okay, that is just the principles of taxation. But Chair, we are saying that this housing levy confers you a direct benefit. Okay, so if you want to argue from a technical perspective, is it a tax? Because it takes a mandatory shape. The housing levy has attracted criticism over what has been termed as discriminatory policies that seem to favor the rich over the poor, the lack of clarity over its governance structure, and the safety of the monies collected, as well as the criteria that will be used to determine who qualifies to benefit from the affordable houses the government intends to build using the fund. That there is need now before you harvest the money from Kenyans, you harvest the maize. First of all, build the store, build the granary to become smooth so that when you bring the maize and beans and what, you already have a store. While previously the government has maintained that the finance bill would be approved without changes, the PS appears to be amenable to a few tweaks here and there. That we may disagree on the approach and there are contentious issues in the bill that needs to be cured and I hope that this committee will cure them but don't throw the baby with the bath water uh, just because there is a challenge somewhere we are asking you we can correct it okay but let's not lose focus of the essence of why we are doing what we are doing we are doing this because chair and it was uh, we're doing this because chair we have come to a point of reckoning the Finance and National Planning Committee is set to retreat for its report writing on Wednesday with sources intimating that the bill could be changed to factor in the views of the stakeholders, especially the Federation of Kenyan Employers. In its presentation before the committee, FKE had indicated that the 3% monetary proposal would lead to job cuts and proposed that the levy be voluntary. Sources now indicate that behind the scenes engagements between the government and the employers have seen the government sit ground and considered the possibility of reducing the levy by 1% to bring the proposed rate to 2%. This offer is on the table as the committee seeks to prepare the report for the second reading in parliament next week. This pray that God may give us wisdom to make the best decision for this country. The committee will also be looking into what it termed as a legal framework that will inform the operation of the fund should it become low. At the same time, the PS has clarified that amongst the changes the government is willing to make to the proposals is a provision that will ensure that all contributors to the fund are eligible to benefit from the houses constructed as opposed to now when some cadres of employees are set to contribute but not to benefit from the project. And we... Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV, Nairobi. Yesterday, so could I could I?